Hello my brothers and sisters. Our topic is relocating your happiness. My friends, is there any time you wanted your happiness that you enjoyed and experienced in your youth? Or is there any time you felt disappointed that all your happiness got faded because of the family pressure? Or are you missing the happiness that you had when you were with your parents and siblings? Our scripture for today comes to us from Philippians chapter 4, verse 4. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say rejoice. How to have happiness in spite of problems and challenges? Or how to smile in spite of humiliation and shame? Bible gives you three encouraging passages. Number one, Matthew chapter 5, 11 and 12. Be the center of your happiness. My friends, as long as your happiness is based on others' happiness or others' satisfaction or others' achievement, you will never be happy. Let your happiness be yours. People may dominate you or insult you or accuse you wrongly, yet do not bring it to your thoughts even if it is from your spouse. Just be silent for some time when you are insulted, but come back to your kingdom of heart. Let your own happiness make you happy. Number two, Romans 15, 13. Find your happiness not in material. My friends, your happiness is not from out, but it is in yourself. Your happiness is not genuine, if that is based on expectations and material. Jesus has given you unprecedented happiness in your heart. Think about it when you pass through bitterness. When you are tired of life, recall how you were happy during your youth. Don't discard your own happiness. Never create your happiness based on money or based on relationship and other possessions. Your true happiness should be exposed when you cry and worry. Number three, first Timothy 6 and 6. Your happiness is in your discovery. My brothers and sisters, you will be happy if you think nothing is permanent. Even your difficulties and challenges are not permanent. Just realize your shame and humiliation are not permanent. Your failures and disappointments should not destroy your happiness because the real happiness is not on your material or expectation, but on your mindset. My friends, are you not happy today? Are you disturbed by anybody today? Or are you dismayed by anyone today? Don't worry, your happiness is not outside, but inside of you. Here is the hope for you from Philippians chapter 4 verse 6. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank Him for all He has done. My friends, happiness is the formula of your life. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, there is somebody here worrying about so many things but losing their own happiness please dear lord help them to locate their happiness so that they will experience joy in jesus christ thank you for hearing our prayers and making it happen in jesus name we pray amen god bless you